Advances in finding more efficient ways to do things are constantly evolving, even in stormwater management. At one time, the main goal is to move the rainwater off property, farms, and roads to prevent standing water and flooding. A network of conveyance systems was installed to direct stormwater runoff into local streams and rivers. Development expansion over the decades replaced natural vegetated areas with more roofs, parking lots, and streets, increasing the volume of stormwater pouring into waterways. In doing that, we've been um, damaging our, our water resources, our streams and wetlands with uh, too much water, too many pollutants. So over the years, we've learned that we need to manage the stormwater. We need to control the rates at which it's released from development sites, and we need to remove the pollutants that can be carried in stormwater before discharging those to our waterways to protect our waterways, the fish, the wildlife, the other beneficial uses that they provide. To protect water resources and habitat, Clark County constructs various public stormwater facilities and requires new developments to treat runoff generated from their site. We do things like build detention ponds, and detention really detains the water. It slows it down, it will collect it as it runs off the site, hold it, and release it at a slower rate. We've used grassy swales, we use cartridge filter systems. The thinking is sort of changing around control and conveying water. Some recent advances in controlling and treating stormwater involve changing how developments are planned and constructed. With the update to the stormwater ordinance and a new stormwater manual, the county is encouraging low-impact developments and best management practices for new developments. What we tend to do is remove all the natural capital from the site and then build our projects. But what that does is really puts us at a disadvantage because that natural capital that's in place does a very, very good job of managing stormwater. The trees, um, the native vegetation does a tremendous job of keeping stormwater from even hitting the ground, capturing it, evapotranspiring it back to the air. Native soils, sort of undisturbed, have a ton of capacity for holding stormwater. Besides planning how best to minimally impact a development site to save as much native vegetation as possible or natural capital, there are a number of best management practices or sustainable techniques to treat stormwater at the source. Then the individual techniques that we can use are more decentralized stormwater management, the idea of not necessarily collecting it from all over an entire development site, running it to one point and treating it there and detaining it there. The idea is to disperse it, to try and to treat it at the source and to manage it at the source and let as much of it infiltrate into the ground as possible. These sustainable techniques which mimic natural processes, include rain gardens, planter strips, curb extensions, impervious concrete and asphalt. To promote public awareness of sustainable stormwater practices, Clark County has constructed two natural drainage demonstration sites. One is a rain garden next to the county's public service center. We had two swales that treat the county's parking lot. We transformed one of the swales into a demonstration rain garden to show folks what it would look like. We brought in soil that meets the requirements for a rain garden, and that soil plays a, a really important part in removing pollutants. Have it planted with um, native wetland and upland plants, appropriate soil mixtures, and people can come out and see these in practice and see that um, while swales are effective ways at removing pollutants, sometimes some of the secondary benefits of these rain gardens is that, are that they look better, they look nicer, they're easier to maintain. The other public demonstration project is a curb extension at Northeast 113th Avenue and Northeast 96th Street. Much like a rain garden with native plants and soil, a curb extension captures rainwater running down the curb line that would otherwise go down the storm drain. The county plans to construct other sustainable stormwater demonstration projects over the next year. The thinking about stormwater management is changing all the time. We're learning what's working, we're learning what's not working, we're learning what may be giving us a, a long-term and expensive maintenance burden well into the future, and we're learning what might be more sustainable, um, not only from an environmental standpoint, from, but from a public funding standpoint. I think we're, we're, we're really poised to, to really change the way of thinking and change how our landscape is developed and, and, and really bring the community together to make sure we attain our goals of protecting water resources and, uh, and helping protect people's pocketbooks as well. For their efforts to promote more sustainable stormwater methods to protect Clark County's water resources, the staff of the Clean Water Program received this month's Our Personal Best.